Hello everyone, I've been playing a lot of uh, Tenchu Stealth Assassins on the PlayStation 1 lately, so I thought I would um, upload a little bit of footage of the game, uh, show you what it was like. Um, this was one of my favourites back in the day. Um, quite an innovative game. Um, it was one of, if not, if not the first, it was one of the first stealth type combat games so it wasn't a simple um, kung fu type of martial arts kickboxing type of arcade game um, you basically got to um, explore a, a um, piece of scenery or a building or something like that and you had a mission that you had to accomplish um, but the aim was to do it um, in the in the, so that you were so you weren't detected um, so that y you had opponents that you would meet but the uh, the idea was to basically um, kill them by stealth to leave traps um, to um, attack them from behind that kind of thing drop drop down on them rather than simply confront them. Um, I'm not particularly good at this game, as you will see. Um, but I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you basically what the uh, graphics were like and so on. Um, it's a little bit clunky in that um, some of the um, opponents, the sort of sentries and things, move in a very kind of automated way. Um, so they they don't behave. They they behave intelligently but also sometimes quite stupidly um, they you, it's very easy to uh, drop out of sight of them things like that and they don't they don't uh, find you um, if you hang from the edge of a bridge or something like that for instance they can be standing right next to you and not see you and sometimes they will run into corners and things and sort of get stuck there um, but by and large it works really well it's very atmospheric um, it's set in feudal Japan and basically you play the part of a ninja who is the servant of Lord Goda and you uh, you have ten missions to play I'm going to show you three of them um, basically they're all they're all set at night but in various types of terrain and sometimes your opponents are humans sometimes they're more um mythic sort of demons and things like that um so it mixes up japanese myth and culture and history quite well it gives you a good sort of flavor of feudal japan and i used to love it but um as i say not, not terribly good at it the, the first mission that you'll see um i i basically barge my way through the uh through the scenario and um, fight more opponents than I kill by stealth and uh, the very last one I'm just I've just found it impossible to complete I know I've done it in the past um, I know it is possible but I think basically um, the, the, the better you score through each scenario the better prepared you are for the final scenario in that you have better weapons and so on and um, more of them um, so basically by the time I got to do the tenth mission I'd done so appallingly badly on the previous nine that um, I was going into it pretty poorly equipped um, but I do manage to kill the uh, <clears throat> the, the under, underling of Lord Mayo who is the villain um, his name is Oni Kage I do manage to finish him off but um, Karnak, when I come to confront Lord Mayo at the end, it's, it's just impossible. I find it impossible to to beat him. But anyway, enough, enough of my jabber. I'll I'll show you the uh, the three the three kind of favourite scenarios, I think, or the, or the they're, they're, at least they're exemplary of um, they're good examples of the the type of scenarios you get in the game. Hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching. Years of bloody civil war have ended in a fragile truce. It is a time of peace, but the threat of attack is constant. Death and destruction is the price for complacency. 
Ever vigilant, Lord Goda sent you to spy on suspicious movement in a potentially hostile neighboring territory. Lord Goda's worst fears are true. This neighbor intends to attack with an army of 20,000 men. Lord Goda must be informed. You rush back towards his territory under the cover of darkness. Near the border, you come across an enemy checkpoint. There is no way around it. You must get through the checkpoint and deliver your report. Please stop right where you are. You seem to be in great haste for such a late hour. Where are you going? The night is no time for a woman to be training. Stand aside. The only way across this checkpoint is through me. Now, why don't you be a good little boy and tell me where you're going and why? I have failed. You are a skilled and honorable opponent. It is a shame that fate denied you the chance to be a happy, ordinary woman. All I need to do is make it to the other side.
Where are you?
Please forgive my immature sister for her rudeness at the gate. Your sister was a brave woman. I am in a hurry to return to my master. I ask that you let me pass. Like you, I also answer to a higher authority. My orders are to detain you. I am Senjiro Akechi, master of Myojin Soga style swordsmanship. Let us settle this with nobility and honor. In the name of the Azuma Ninja Clan, I fully accept your challenge. Commence. to be defeated by someone as skilled as you. You are a master swordsman and an honorable man. It is a shame we could not fight as allies. Following his death, Ichigoya's ledgers were thoroughly examined. The investigation revealed a link between the merchant and a man called Kataoka, Lord Goda's finance minister. Kataoka is abusing his position, accepting bribes in return for assigning city construction projects and similar favors. Kataoka happens to be the son-in-law of Sekia, one of Lord Goda's most trusted advisors. Lord Goda knows the truth and could have Kataoka arrested, but does not want to bring unbearable shame on Sekia. Understanding his master's dilemma, Sekia has decided to resolve the matter himself and orders you to execute the corrupt finance minister. Minister Kataoka sure likes his money. What is this, Bizenya? There is more here than usual. We could not do business without you. <laughs> the money is merely a token of our appreciation. 
I like the way you think. What can I help you with today? We have put in bids for the construction work next month. If you could only... Leave it to me. <laughs> but remember what happened to Echigoya. Tread carefully. <coughs>
Where is Minister Kataoka? You, you Lord Goda's ninja. How convenient of you to come here. I have orders to kill you. Wait! Please, spare my life. I will ask you just one more time. Where is Kataoka? The m m master is out. He, he, he should be back soon. Thank you. 
Minister Kataoka, you have brought great shame on yourself. I never expected Lord Goda to catch me. Kill yourself, and show me you still have some honor. I will assist you. Yes, thank you. Tell Lord Goda of how I die. I will inform Lord Goda of your honorable end. While you were chasing Onikage in the castle, Meo, the king of hell, kidnapped Princess Kiku, Lord Goda's only daughter. Lord Goda and his advisors are too shocked by the kidnapping for any thought or action. With Princess Kiku as a hostage, Meo's evil power is unlimited. You are Lord Goda's only hope. You must rescue the princess and destroy Meo.
your fate. So, you've returned. This time, you won't come back. <laughs> oh, no. You can't beat me when I try. We'll find out. Onikage, I destroyed you, and your master Mayo is next. Thank you. 
<laughs> so, you killed Onikage. Who would have thought it possible? Tell me where Princess Kiku is. <laughs> Do not concern yourself with the girl. Think about Saving your skin.
Thank you.